I always walk by and put my hand over the system. This one I noticed wasn't blowing that good and it's blowing cold air. First thought, compressor. Little did I know, when I open the system, I got a contactor not pulled in. So I'm like, hmm, okay. Of course it's a shunt, so I'm gonna power up one side. Contactor's working right. Went ahead and went and already checked my capacitor, the micro fairings. It's rated for five, it's 4.9. This is what I found funny. So, got my compressor, amping at six on one. I got my compressor amping at five. Compressor amping at two. Fan. And it's going to be my fan wire 1.1. Contactor's not pulled in, just to remind you. So, just go ahead and the fan starts up higher. The amp draw is actually higher when I do check this. I just can't hold the camera at the same time. So, all the components check out good. It's just back feeding from my fan into my compressor, all because of the shunt. So when I go ahead and disconnect power, go ahead and discharge the cap. but I always like using pliers. I typically don't wear gloves. Let's go ahead and put it on resistance. I'm using a Fluke 902FC. I'm gonna go ahead and do resistance to ground on my, on my fan. So you can see that down in that corner right there. I got resistance to ground. So internally, this fan motor is back feeding from the shunt into the compressor and into the fans, making it run when the contactor's not pulled in. So this was a fun one. Uh, yeah. So if you ever come across that, make sure you uh, check some things to the ground. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind, hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, you can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.